Before we proceed to the next item, there's an indication from the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security to raise a point of order. What's the point of order, Honorable Minister? <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Speaker, for according me this opportunity to raise a point of order pursuant to Article 207 against the Honorable Member of Parliament for Chienge. Madam Speaker, yesterday we are treated to a scurrilous, sparrilous statements which are contemptuous attacking the persona of the Honorable Madam Speaker and her deputies. The Honorable Member of Parliament for Cheng addressed the press yesterday where she in her statement imputed that you are a PF, uh, an European decada together with your presiding officers and that this house has lost the direction under your leadership. And she made so many imputations, unverified innuendos against yourselves. The Honorable Member, after making that statement, circulated that statement to the nation discrediting this august house which is presided by yourself and which house she's a member. Madam Speaker, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Chieng knows the procedures and I would like you your Honor the the speaker to take judicial notice of the processes which a member should invoke if they are grieved with the decisions of this August House. She referred to so many, according to her, decisions which you have made, which are biased because you are a political cadre of the UPND and that you are biased in your rulings. Is she in order, Madam Speaker, to attack your persona and the personas of the two presiding officers publicly to the detriment of this August House? Her statements have brought ridicule, contempt, and odium in the eyes of the members of the public. Is she in order, Madam Speaker, to make those statements? And I also want you, Madam Speaker, to take judicial notice of the decisions of this House pertaining to people who made similar comments over such matters. The statement, Madam Speaker, is in public domain. It has been circulated. I have a copy on my phone. Order, order. Let's allow the Honorable Minister to conclude. Ma Madam Speaker, it's an electronic copy, and that is why I have called on you to take judicial notice. Yeah of facts that are in public domain. Yeah. And this fact is in public domain, Madam Speaker. Your office and your officers have accessed and they are aware of the perilous comments made by the Honorable Member of Parliament for Chieng. Is she in order to quietly sit there as if she has not offended this house. Is she not a madam?
Oda. Oda, honorable members. The point of order that has been raised. The point of order that has been raised by the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security relates to a matter that occurred outside the house. So in terms of our standing orders, especially standing order 132, a complaint can be written to my office so that that issue can be attended to rather than being raised as a point of order. So, Honorable Minister, if a complaint can be written, it will receive the same attention as even if it was not raised as a point of order. We will follow our, our standing orders in terms of processing that complaint. That is my order.